Hello bookworms, it's Jade from Bedtime Bookworm and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to tell you all about my anticipated releases for summer 2019. So I consider my summer to be June and July and August. So these are the top 15 books that are coming out in those months that I am most excited about. There are definitely lots of other books that are coming out that I have my eye on and that I'm interested in, but I had to narrow it down to my top 15 because otherwise this video would be really long. Just because I am excited about these books, it doesn't mean that I plan on reading them right away. I try not to read too many new releases. A lot of times I like to see how the books pan out. You know, when they're first coming out, there's always a lot of buzz and people are really positive about things and then as the reviews start coming in, that's when I more like to make my decision about if I'm actually gonna read something. But these are ones that I am interested in for various different reasons, which I will tell you whenever I talk about each book. If you're interested in the books that I'm actually wanting to read in the next three months, watch out for my summer TBR, which should be coming out in a few weeks. Throughout the year, as I hear about books that are coming out, I add them to a special Goodreads shelf, which is my not yet released shelf. I'll link that Goodreads shelf in my description box in case you want to check it out and see what other books that I'm not going to talk about that I'm interested in, or maybe some of the books that are coming out later this year. Surprisingly, this is pretty front loaded. I have like nine books coming out in June that I'm excited about, and then only three in July and three in August. I don't know if that's just because there's not a lot of books that are coming out in those other two months or I'm just not aware of them. I'm not really sure, but June has nine books that I want to talk about. The first book on my list is Cinder and the Prince of Midnight by Susan E. This book is on my list because I read Susan E's Penryn and the End of Days trilogy a while back and I really enjoyed it. The ending was a little bit lackluster, but the first two books I really loved and I really loved the world and her writing style. I thought it was just like really refreshing and different from things that I typically see. And those books are older. They, they've they been out for quite a while and Susan E. hasn't published anything since then. So when I saw that, that she had a new book coming out, I was so excited. And I know I'm not the only one who has been just waiting for her to publish another book. This is a YA fantasy. It's about an orphan girl, a dark and twisted kingdom, and an ongoing war resulting in enslaved fairies. So it sounds like there's fae. The synopsis is fairly vague, but that's okay. I don't really need to know a lot about it. I just want to read this because of who the author is. And it does look like it's a standalone, at least as of right now. The next book on my list is The Deep by Rivers Solomon. This is coming out on June 4th. Just kidding, guys. The release date for this book got moved to November right after I finished filming this video, so you can look forward to me talking about this book in my next anticipated releases video. Next I have Sorcery of Thorns. This is by Margaret Rogerson and is coming out on June 4th. I read Margaret Rogerson's debut book a couple years ago which was An Enchantment of Ravens and I really enjoyed it. I went into that one with like pretty low expectations because it was a debut and it really surprised me. I had a lot of fun reading that one. So I have been waiting for her to come out with another book and this one sounds fascinating. It sounds like the main character works in this library and in this world there are magical grimoires that are like chained to contain their power and she wants to guard them or something like that. But that just sounds awesome and because I really enjoyed her first book I am super excited to read her next one. The next book I'm excited about is The Haunted by Danielle Vega. This is coming out also on June 4th. I do have a physical ARC or advanced reader copy of this. I don't have it with me. It's by my bed because I, it's like one of the next books I plan to read. So obviously I am excited about this and I plan to read it. Danielle Vega is the author of the Merciless series, which I have heard a lot about. It's supposed to be like horror or, or supernatural or something. And I heard it was really scary. So it's been on my TBR for a while, but I haven't read it. And honestly, I don't know anything about this except it's about a haunting. That's all I really need to know. And I think it'll be a perfect read for the summer. I love reading horror in the summer. Speaking of horror in the summer, the next book on my list is Teeth in the Mist by Don Kurtigich. And this is coming out on June 11th. So we finally moved to the next week in June. Don Kurtigich has written quite a few books, but the one that I'm familiar with but haven't read is And the Trees Crept In. That one I've heard is a really good audiobook and it's been on my TBR for a really long time. I'm hoping to actually finally get to it this year. But this is her new book, obviously, and I really don't know anything about it except who the author is and the fact that 
she also wrote and the trees crept in so that was enough reason for me to want to read this this is another ya horror sounds like it's also fantasy or retelling which sounds right up my alley the synopsis says it's a genre bending epic horror fantasy which is like a bunch of my buzzwords like that sounds fantastic so I'm really excited about this one. Also, Dawn Kurtikich does have a YouTube channel and I watch her videos sometimes. She doesn't post all that often, but I'll link it down in the description box in case you wanna check it out. I am so excited about this next book. The next book is Recursion by Blake Crouch, and this is also coming out on June 11th. Blake Crouch is, of course, the author of Dark Matter, which was like one of my favorite books in 2018 and is still one of my favorite books. This is another sci-fi thriller and it looks like it has a lot to do with memory and if you know me you know I love books about memories. For some reason that's like one of my weird themes that I like to read about. Although the reviews that are out for this book already a lot of them say that it's not as good as Dark Matter so I'm gonna lower my expectations a little bit but I'm still really excited about it because I love books about memory and it's the new Blake Crouch. So it looks like in this world there is something called false memory syndrome, a mysterious affliction that drives its victims mad with memories of a life they have never lived. That sounds fascinating. The next book on my list is Silver in the Wood by Emily Tesh. And I only recently heard about this one. And honestly, the thing that really got me was the cover. I think it is gorgeous. Also, this is just a novella. It's 112 pages, so not very long. It's coming out from Tor.com on June 18th. This one is said to be similar to Uprooted or have Uprooted vibes, which I loved Uprooted. I'm guessing it has a lot of like the forest magic sort of stuff going on. I think it's about Faye and that's about all I know about it. Next I have Deviate by Jay Kristoff and this is coming out on June 25th. So this is a sequel, it's a sequel to Lifelike which I read last year. I think I had an e-arc or an advanced reader copy of Lifelike, pretty sure, from like Net Gally or Edda Weiss. Anyways, I, I really enjoyed that. I gave it four stars. It's a YA science fiction book about like androids. It's really action-y and the world is kind of like a desert setting with a lot of like Mad Max vibes. The second book is more about Lemon Fresh who was the sidekick character in the first book. So I'm kind of feeling eh about that. I mean, Lemon Fresh was funny. She made a good like secondary character, but I'm not sure how I feel about like being in her perspective. But I enjoyed the first book enough that I do want to continue in the series. And that's why this book is on my list. Next, I have Wicked Fox by Kat Cho, and this is coming out on June 25th. I do have a physical copy of this. I picked up this ARC or Advanced Reader copy when I went to the North Texas Teen Book Festival earlier this year. I have been, ugh, it's kind of bent. I have been really looking forward to this book because it is inspired by Korean mythology. It's like an urban fantasy, a YA urban fantasy, and I've also been following this author for a while, like shortly after she had sold the book, I think. She has an author tube channel, which is how I found out about this book in the first place, and so I like watched all of her videos about writing and her process and everything. So I'm really excited to read this. I'm kind of nervous because YA urban fantasy is like not really my favorite thing to read, but because of the Korean influences and my like history with the author, I'm, I still want to read it. Okay, those are all nine of my June books that I'm excited about. Let's move on to July. The first book coming out in July that I am excited about is another book that I have a physical arc or advanced reader copy of, and that is Wilder Girls. I'm super excited about this. I've been hearing such good things. And this is coming out on July 9th. This is another one that I picked up at the North Texas Teen Book Festival when I went earlier this year. This cover is gorgeous and it's really cool because it's like two-toned. Not that that really impacts the inside of this book. This is a YA horror about a group of girls or it's like an all-girls school that is quarantined because of some like disease outbreak. And from what I've heard like these girls have some physical abnormalities because of this disease outbreak and some of those descriptions are supposed to be really gory and I believe this is also queer. I've heard nothing but good things about this one and I think it'll be a really good summer read because it's horror. The next book on my list is Before I Disappear by Danielle Stinson and this is coming out on July 23rd. I had never really heard of this book or of this author before but it just caught my eye when I was looking through some like new releases lists. It's a YA fantasy, but from the synopsis, it sounds fairly based in the real world, maybe more like magical realism or something. It sounds like a girl and her little brother 
move to a town to get like a fresh start and somehow the whole town disappears and the girl has to try and find her brother because he was in the town when it disappeared. I don't know, it just sounded interesting so I added it to my list. The next book on my list is How We Became Wicked by Alexander Yates and this is coming out on July 23rd. This is another YA horror, kind of a dystopian. It's a disease outbreak book. I loved reading about disease outbreaks, so that obviously caught my eye. It's about this plague called the Wicked, and the plague is spread by mosquitoes, and when you're infected, it sounds like it turns you into something that's kind of like a zombie, where you just like want to hurt and kill people. I've been looking for more zombie-ish books to read. I really haven't heard that much about it, but I'm hoping it's a hit. Okay, moving on to August. The next book that I'm excited about is another one that I have a physical copy of. This is The House of Salt and Sorrows by Erin A. Craig. This is another advanced reader copy that I received when I went to the North Texas Teen Book Festival earlier this year. And this is coming out on August 6th. It takes place in a manor by the sea and it's about a bunch of sisters that live there but then they start to mysteriously die. It's listed on Goodreads as a YA fantasy and a retelling. I'm not really sure what sort of retelling it is, but I'm interested to find out. The next book on my list is The Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell, and this is coming out on August 8th. This caught my eye just because of the author. This is a mystery thriller, and I've heard of this author before. Mostly I've heard about Then She Was Gone by her, but also the cover of Watching You seems familiar. So I feel like I've heard her name a few times, and so that caught my eye, and the synopsis I thought sounded interesting. Sounds like a family is staying the weekend above where these two sisters live, but then things turn very, very dark. The synopsis is very vague, but that's okay. I'm intrigued and I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye out on the reviews for this book to see if it's something that I want to read. And then last but not least, I have The Downstairs Girl by Stacey Lee. This is another physical advanced reader copy that I picked up from the North Texas Teen Book Festival when I went earlier this year. This is coming out on August 13th. This is a historical fiction, a YA historical fiction. And it takes place in the South in Atlanta and is about this Asian girl who is a lady's maid, but she also writes for, writes a column in a newspaper under a pseudonym that gets really popular and she writes about like race and gender and receives backlash for it, so then people are trying to find out who the author of this column is. But then there's also, I guess, a storyline about her trying to find her parents because she was abandoned as a baby. I don't really know much about how Asian women were treated in the South. I guess I don't know when this takes place. Yeah, I don't know when exactly in history this takes place. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. The other reason why I'm interested in this book is because of the author. Her last book was Under a Painted Sky, which I remember hearing good things about. Between that and the setting of this, I am interested to see what the reviews look like when it comes out. Slash, I should probably read it because I have an art copy. <laughs> okay guys, those are my top 15 anticipated reads that are coming out this summer. Let me know in the comment section if you guys are interested in any of these books, or let me know what books are coming out that I didn't mention that you are excited about. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more bookish content. That is all I have for now. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bookworms, keep reading. Bye. I read Susan E's <clears throat> because I read Susan E's <sighs> Penryn and the End of Days. Don Kurtigich Don Kurtigich has read um Don Kurtig <laughs> I can't say her name a while like so, while uh, shortly after and it, it turns it it's a it's a host <sighs> Bye